You gotta be the hardest workers in the room. And don't fuck the opportunity up. So I thought what I'd do, instead of, instead of telling you what I think you should be doing, or what, how you could be better, or I thought, well, let me just speak from the heart, speak from my gut, and really not have anything prepared, but just tell you what's worked for me. And maybe some of the stuff that's worked for me might work for you now, currently, presently, as you guys have your goals and ambitions. The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. So, and I'm sure you guys all have your processes. And again, I'm gonna tell you what's worked for me. So before a big movie comes out, before, back in the days when I was wrestling with WWE, a WrestleMania match, anything big that would happen, I would always take a moment and I'd just remind myself, all right, I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island, we couldn't live in Hawaii, had no place to live. Uh, a lot of shit happened then when I moved to Nashville, I was arrested multiple times by the time I was 16 years old. I gotta remember that. Uh, before I lace up, before I get on the court, before I play in these big games, before I go to the Staples Center, I would remember that. And it allows me then to be present in the moment and understand, holy shit, this, the stuff I have around me right now, this is the shit that I dreamed of when I was a kid. I am here. And I played for University of Miami, played for great teams. Warren Sapp, Ray Lewis, they were my teammates. They were balling. Warren Sapp was playing tight end at that time. I was starting defensive tackle. Yeah, they moved him over to D-line. And he looked at me, he's like, yo, dude, I'm gonna take your spot. I said, you ain't taking my spot. He said, I'm gonna take your spot. Said, you know we battled, and he took my spot. <laughs> now you can imagine how that fucked with me, because there goes my opportunity. He went in, switched to defensive attack, and lit the world on fire. Well, what that did, it crushed me, and it crushed my dreams. I had a piss poor senior year, zero production, no NFL, no combine invite, nothing. Finally went to the CFL. Calgary Stampeders making $250 a week Canadian. Canadian. I had to send that shit home to my, uh, to my wife at that time. I had no money. So I remember that. When I got cut from Canada. I had seven bucks in my pocket. And I always tell that story. So now my production company is seven bucks. Advertising agency is seven bucks. Everything is seven bucks. So I always remember that. What helps me is to keep the hard times in the front of my mind because it allows me to go into these big moments that I've worked my ass off, and you guys have worked your ass off. It allows me to go into these big moments with a different perspective. What it also does for me, and again, this, just, this is what works for me. Like, <clears throat> I keep my back, excuse my language, my back is up against this motherfucker every day. It's against this fucking wall. Excuse my language. It's in the room. But it's up against this motherfucker because it's what I believe in. And when my back is against this motherfucker, then there's nowhere to go. But that way. And I don't give a fuck who is in front of me. They're not going to stop me. Where does it start? All starts with this. Two hands. Putting it to work. But the key with me is just always finding what the anchor is. And the fucking anchor is getting up at four o'clock in the morning every day before anybody else and grounding my thought process is in the no one will outwork me. No one. I love and I respect you guys. You motherfuckers won't outwork me. 